Hi, good afternoon or good evening, uh, whatever time you happen to be watching this. It's Stephen from James Glen Car Sales and today I would like to show you around an F31 320 diesel M Sport uh, that we have just finished detailing and now have for sale. It is not our usual type of car in, in, in as much as it's done 119,000 miles but by the time uh, we've reached the end of the video I'm sure you will understand why we kept this one for retail rather than just uh, trading the car out. So it's got a lovely spec, it's in mineral grey, it has black leather and it's got all the bits that you would look for when we're looking to purchase um, one of these and that's Zenons, heated seats and Pro-Nav. That's your three main issues. Other things that are nice to have is it's got the bigger wheels and also has the M Performance brakes with the nice calipers which fill the backs of the wheels just nicely. So um, without further ado, uh, let's take a look around. We'll start the video with just taking a, a quick walk around the car just so that you can take in the general appearance uh, during which time I'll tell you a little bit about the garage. So James Glen Car Sales have been established since 1982. Uh, we're very proud of our preparation standards and uh, this is echoed uh, throughout the hundreds of five-star reviews that you will find throughout the internet, whether that be Google, Facebook, Auto Trader, Car Gurus or RAC Cars. Every car is fully detailed. Um, on this particular car, it was a three-stage correction. We also carry a fresh MOT, regardless of how long uh, the MOT had left to run. Uh, and that's done on purchase, so we know exactly what we've got to do to the car as soon as it arrives. We then put the car through an 82-point RAC approved inspection, which is uh, a lot more thorough than just a standard MOT. It also takes into account, make sure all the options inside the car are working as they should. Then the car comes back, we start the detailing process and we carry out any uh, cosmetic repairs which can be things like alloy wheel refurbishments or, or panel repaints for scratches and dents, that sort of thing. All cars go with three months RAC warranty which can be extended up to two, one or two years. You can ask a member of staff for a quotation. So now we've had a walk round, we'll take a closer look and this is what we call the sort of watch in all section of the video because at the end of the day we don't sell new cars we sell used vehicles which are prepped to a good standard or a very very high standard in our opinion but at the end of the day that is going to be commensurate wear and tear which uh, we can't do anything about so we've got some stone chips which um carry on up to about this section of the bonnet um the camera is about 10 inches away from the paint if we take the camera any closer obviously we're going to start to lose focus uh, but overall, I would have to say, for a car with this mileage, it presents exceptionally well. Uh, we'll just move down to the lower end of the, the bumper, which again is the area where you would expect to see um, quite a lot of stone chips at this mileage. But they're standing up really, really well, as are the light lenses there, it's still relatively fresh. Um, when you go closer, you can see uh, a bit of road rash in the lens, but certainly no solar damage. Uh, it also has the gloss black splitter um, which ties in nice with the gloss black kidney grills and the shadow chrome which runs round the outer edge of the glass and the bottom of the mirror caps. If we take a good look down the length of the passenger side from the front, um, there is one or two very very small parking dents just to the front of the rear door but we will try and pick them up on the camera as we walk round. Front passenger tyre a wheel Michelin Pilot Sport 4, so an excellent brand tyre there and we did fit new disc and pads all round and alloy wheel is in excellent condition and we'll take in the passenger side from the rear yeah, I'll try and get those pack events to show up but they are very very minor and quite difficult to pick up on the camera if I'm honest Closer look at the rear passenger wheel, we can see another wheel with no damage. Again, as I mentioned earlier, new distance pads all round and a Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyre. It's always advisable to have X drives on matching tyres all round, just so that you don't end up running into any uh, transfer box issues. If you are looking at one and it has mismatched tyres, it would be my advice to either change them out immediately. Um, or not to buy it. 
factory cap over mats. We've also got the Hammond Carbon Audio System, the gloss black trim with the brushed aluminium on the top. Looking across the rear bench there, we can see that there's no um, damage or impact dents from car seats. Entry plates are all in good condition, as is the rear door card. So split folding hatch on the BMW Tourer. This is a facility that we've had for years. Really handy if you're loading the, the boot area up and you're on a hill pointing up the way. Stop these things from rolling out the back. Also, all Tourers come with the powerful tailgate as standard. That's the standard chrome grills if you want to go back to chrome at the front. There's a scratch here on the back bumper. So we will touch that in, take the look off it. And looking down the past, the, sorry, the driver's side, there's absolutely nothing to report on this side of the car. As you can see, the paintwork has been detailed very, very well. No swirl, no scratches. Rear driver's side alloy wheel. Again, no damage. Michelin Pilot Sport 4 and the new disc in there. And we'll just take a look down the driver's side from the front to the back. And close up of the final wheel to confirm that there's no damage. And the Michelin tyre on there. And the fresh, fresh, fresh brake disc. Moving on to the inside, we'll just check all the regular touch points where we can usually find wear and tear, where elbows can create kind of shiny indents. And also around about the electric window switches where we can start to see damage around here, but everything is all as it should be. Same with the entry plate along the, the door aperture. Take a look at the backrest and the base. All in good shape. A little bit of wear here, just at the, the seam. But these are fairly heavily sculpted sports seats. And if you press the button down here, this inflates the bolsters. So if the bolsters have been inflated to their um, most inflated position, you can sometimes get this. Um, but overall, I'd have to say that seat is looking very good, especially for the mileage. And when you compare it with the passenger side, you can see that there is hardly any noticeable difference at all. Steering wheel, again, we'll pay close attention to the two o'clock position where you can tend to find that this starts to wear. But overall, that wheel looks exceptionally fresh. We'll just hop in now, get the car started, confirm the current mileage, and that the car starts and idles with no issues. We've got a battery discharge warning on, and that's because the car has just been validated and all the doors and interior lights have been on. So we've got the larger screen here, which indicates the car's got black panel display. Current mileage, 119,370. Got your professional navigation here with the widescreen, which allows you to have um, the maps here and then you can split the screen so that you can have other functions taken up the right hand side. Got the Hammond cabin, which I mentioned earlier on. And we'll just take a quick look around the rest of the cabin. Also got automatic wipers, automatic light activation, and it also has cruise control. Eight speed ZF gearbox. Storage down here, and you've got your center armrest. USB and iPod, sorry, USB and auxiliary in. The car does obviously have Bluetooth for playing your audio tracks. So we'll hop out and get a look under the bonnet. The C20 diesel comes fitted with a inline four cylinder turbocharged diesel producing 184 brake horsepower. You can expect outstanding fuel economy in and, in and around the region of 50 miles per gallon on a long run. Around about the town that will probably drop to somewhere along the lines of 30, 80, 40 miles to the gallon. Thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. Hope you found that useful. If you'd like to send us any inquiry, you can do so using the link below. 
just click that, that'll take you through to the website and you can send us any inquiry, whether that be part exchange or a financing inquiry or just a general condition about the car. We won't buy any car.com, but we might buy your car and for a great price. That is where all of our stock comes from. We don't buy from auction. It's either that or the car was generated in bad exchange, which was the case with the 320 diesel. As you're looking at a 320 diesel, a BMW, you may well find that this video up here of interest. Equally, if you'd like to consider subscribing to the channel, that way you'll not miss any more stock updates. And you can do that by clicking this button down here. Thanks again for making it to the end of the video, guys. Hope you found it useful. And I look forward to speaking with you or to you in the next video. And as always, if you, any, any queries, you can also leave it in the comments. Um, where we always reply within 24 hours. Thank you.